Green day, 60% green. I mess around with this thing for you. I tried to short it. Ah, it didn't fall through. You can see what I was looking at here. Uh, I shorted it here, right here at 1030. And I missed the 25 cents there and then it came back up on me. So I just, I should have stayed with it and got, this is the one I wanted. But I didn't. You can see I shorted it right there. It came back up on me. And then this is the drop I actually wanted, but I guess I wasn't looking at it then. Bad timing. Did the same thing on this one, Tigger. Shorted it here, I missed the 25 cents. I didn't, actually I didn't take it. I don't know if I missed it. Yeah, it was really quick. I remember I missed this. And I said, ah, forget it. I'm just gonna stop it out because I got a feeling it's gonna come back up. That was a good call because it did drop down here, but it never really went anywhere. And then it just took off to the upside. I didn't get a lot of follow through today, uh, except for a couple stocks. It was, yesterday was a huge day. I mean, there was five and ten dollar moves on like twenty dollar stocks. So after and the, the spy moved huge. So after a day like that, you got to expect kind of a consolidation day or maybe the rest of the week. But anyway, um, shorted this one here. If you can see from here to here to here, I had a nice wedge going when it dropped down through here. I shorted it, got like twenty cents. Missed the drop here, could have got 30 cents. No follow through, come off the 20, so I um, closed it out here. I should have stuck, just like the other one, I should have stuck with it and took the second one. Now I, now I can see the trend line down through here. Uh, but, you know, I didn't, whatever. And then it just took off to the upside. It's like I oh, this one just chopped. Never really broke down. F cell, kind of the same thing. Shorted it right here. Missed a quick drop here, like half a second drop of another 25 cents. And got it here and then it took off. So I ended up getting um, 40, only like 40 cents. Fubo TV. I took this one here, this bull candle here, which was a 50 cent candle, caught my eye. I said, no, I'm not taking it at the top. Because it'll pull all the way back to here for a dollar and stop me out. I'm going to wait. I had an order setting down here at like 45.05, 6, 7, somewhere in there. It didn't get filled. It came down to about 12, 10, 12. So I had to scoop my order up. I got filled at like 25. And I said, okay, well, if it ain't going to come down, I left my order down here. If it's not going to come down, then I'll get it on the breakout. So I added here. Took some profit and got profit up here at the top for a dollar, close to a dollar. And it stopped the rest out here, figuring it was probably going to fail. And then I missed this beautiful cup and handle at 1130. I don't know if I wasn't looking or I had quit trading or I don't know what I was doing at that time. But you got to keep trying these things. You never know when which one's going to go. And I, I applied that today just on the wrong stocks. The couple that I tried just failed off. Like I tried it on ACB and a couple other ones. Uh, this was a good trade. You can't complain about getting a dollar. But I should have stuck with it and tried it here again. Got another 50 cents. And then it would have come back even and stopped me out. And then I should have tried it again. You just got to keep... It's, it's death by a thousand cuts is what it is. You've got to keep trying on these things. You don't know which one is going to be this one right here. Yeah, after the fact, you can see that. Or if I ha if I would have happened to be watching this right here, I'm going, man, look at this beautiful cup and handle. The cup and then the handle. And I would have taken it, but evidently I wasn't looking at it. I was looking at something else or whatever. This was the nice short. 12.75 in there. Look, this is the open. It dropped down. Let me turn these stupid things off. It dropped down come back around I shorted it right here took some profit at this ledge and then got profit on down here and I uh, probably could have got another 50 cents at the very bottom but this candle would have freaked me out anyway this look at this green candle with no no got a red candle which is good and then you got a green candle almost the same size that would have freaked me out anyway and I probably would have stopped stopped closed it out right here But that was a good trade. It was another dollar trade. Look, twelve fifty. Now, oh, that one was about seventy-five cents. Aurora Cannabis was the trade of the day. 
Only because I traded the hell out of this thing. Um, I think this is wrong. I think this is the opening candle. I don't think I traded it that early. I think this is two, four, six minutes right here. So I got in here with the idea to add when it pulled back and it perfectly did. This is what they always do. That's why I don't like pick on these big candles on these stocks that run up like a dollar. And then I get in over the top and then it pulls back a dollar. I hate that. So I just plan now. I plan for the pullback. If it doesn't pull back and it gives me a chance, I'll add like here. If it doesn't give me a chance, then that's it. That's all I get. I don't get any more shares. So anyway, longed it. Longed it again here. And got profit. So because my average is here, that's like 55 cents right here. So I got 55 cents. Actually, I got uh, 80 cents at the top here. It pulled back nicely. I added here again, waiting for the pullback to the VWAP to add some more. Never made it, so I added again over the breakout. Quack, grab some quick profit because, look, it didn't get any volume. I didn't really like it. And every time I would, I don't I had bad timing. Like, when I would go long, the market would start dumping. Every time I would short, the market would start taking off in the long direction. So I just couldn't get a hold of it. So I stopped it out, stopped it out. Now this one, this is what I'm talking about. I need to, you need to stick with them and just keep trying. So this one, I did that. I said, okay, let me try it again. Maybe it's gonna go now. Look, you see this line right here? You see this trend line? I'm like, all right, so it pulled back to the VWAP. It's right on the trend line, riding the trend line up again. Maybe it's gonna go now. Longed it, longed it, no, failed. Tried it again up here. I admit this was a chase. Oh, this was my 11 o'clock chase. Okay, so I said, if I see a bull candle at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 12.30, 1 o'clock, if I'm still trading at that time, I'm going to chase it. I don't care. It Because if I don't chase it, like the last five, six, seven days, I say, no, I'm not going to chase it. I missed the entry. I'm going to wait for a pullback, like right in here. And it never pulls back. They just run two or three, four dollars, and I'm just pissed off just sitting here watching them. So I chased it, small share size, with the idea to add on the pullback, and then I didn't like how it was going and closed it out. I said, this thing's going to fail. So I uh, shorted it right under this secondary uh, trend line here. You can see it right here, these reds are shorts. Got some profit here, missed an extra 20, 30 cent ping there. Got some profit, tried to short it again and it didn't help me out. This was me playing around with my phone, I think, in here. Making sure I could open and close orders on my phone in case I have an internet outage, because this is my, only my first day trading Trader Workstation. Only, only. I traded it yesterday, but today was, I, I only traded on this today. So that was the trade of the day. My, I had all, I was all green till 10.30. My first loser was a very small loser, and that was at 10.30. So all my trades were green till 10.30. So um, I was 60% green, good day, which is good for a like a no follow through day. Yesterday was a huge day in the market. I mean like five and $10 moves in these small stocks. So you gotta expect consolidation probably for the rest of the week. You're probably not gonna get a lot of follow through. 